Hi! Welcome back to another convention vlog. My name's Heather, if you're new here. Um, actually, let's take this off. That's a little extreme. This will actually be my fourth convention. I love tabling at conventions. And let me tell you real quick, spoilers, this was a good event. So this specific convention was called the Geek Craft Expo Twin Cities. Yeah, I hope you'll enjoy the video. You'll get to see a lot of my prep work and like things that I did the week of the event. You'll see me set up my table and then you'll see some footage from the actual days. And then I'll come back at the end to tell you my final thoughts and show you a few things that I got. Okay, enjoy the video. love plastic and how it'll take two million years to break down what do i do i put one of these guys in here okay and then what finish the assembly and enjoy it that's the last step okay <sighs> Gosh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Oh, should I put sticker pack? Cute. Oh my god, look how cute and professional that looks. Well, almost professional. If this wasn't a test print. <gasps> Julian, look at my product. Okay, so I just went and got a bunch of backing cards printed. The Powerpuff Girls. Sorry, this is like not a good shot. Sorry. Um, I'm just gonna cut out. I, I got a bunch of stuff printed. And it's not like, it's not the greatest quality, <laughs> but that's okay. It's, I'm kind of doing this last minute, like redoing all these pack, this packaging. I have like a million of these backing cards, which I got printed like, from a nice place. These I just went and printed just now at like UPS, you know? But you gotta do what you gotta do. Also the keychain stuff front and back. I had just decided a couple days ago when I went to set this up, all my pins had this backing and it just all kind of looked uniform and nothing really stood out. So I wanted to give each thing like their own backing and their own packaging. And you know, even though the printing's not the highest quality, it's really the product that matters so <laughs> i also have this shitty cutting board that's so old but it's okay it's gonna work and also punching pins through on washi tape is like goaded nobody told me well that's not true yes so i'm just gonna be cutting these out for the rest of the night and assembling stuff cute look at Regina and what's her character's name? Oh my gosh, you guys, we saw the Mario movie last night and it was so cute. I want to live in their world so bad. These two kind of match, right? Cute. These two match. And that one. I wish I had more pin designs, but they're so expensive to make. There's ants everywhere. It's so stupid. Thank you. 
I'm so happy about this keychain packaging. Look at the back too. Please peel off my clear backing, recycle and reuse what you can from this packaging. Love, I'm Heather. I still need to cut out the Goomba ones, but they also have the backing. Ooh, I just think they look so nice. So profesh. <laughs> Currently watching Tiffany Wang's video. She's packaging wholesale orders, so I kind of feel like we're doing the same thing right now. Okay, so I have one of these things filled with all the keychains. Goomba and the backing. Kirby. <laughs> Yay. This is all of the Goomba keychains that I have. So if I sell out at the convention, which would be crazy and amazing, I don't think that will happen. But if I do, I'm gonna have to order more for my shop update. There are still some more Kirby's. I ordered more Kirby's than Goomba. I don't know, I just figured they might be a little more popular. But I think for day one, I'm just gonna bring this amount. These guys are going over, oh my gosh, it's heavy, to the done pile over here. of All the stuff that I'm going to bring Oh, I need to put tags on the tote bag still, oh my gosh. Here's how the setup is kind of going. I have all my stickers here and I made like these specific, oh my God, <laughs> these specific signs for like, these are all the clear stickers then. Ooh, glow in the dark. Glitter and holographic stickers are kind of all right here. Blue haired liberal sticker is right there. And then just a little sign for the sticker pack. Then I have my art prints over here. These signs are not done yet, but that one is. I just rounded the corners on it. So I've got my art prints and tote bag on this grid thing. I've got a little thing of freebie stickers. I always like to have a thing of freebie stickers. I only have three of these left. I'm so sad. I wish I could bulk this out a little bit more, but um, I think these will just stay in this little bin like this. I have my washi tape here and I need to attach the packaging on. It's kind of like my Powerpuff Girls packaging. Then I have some of my prints here in these little containers, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's not all of them, but I have noticed that people like to like flip through prints like this at conventions. Uh. Excuse me. And then over here on my little acrylic stand, I have the pins, the keychains, my sticker packs and then my window cling, which I'm not sure if I want to move this like, I don't know, I might rearrange this. And I think I have little signs for all these too that I'm going to tape on prices and stuff. Of course, I have my big price sheet. And then I'm just collecting uh, all my stuff here that I need to bring, stock and packaging stuff. When people order stickers, I'll package them up for them. I'm thinking about having my sketchbook out, maybe just as like something to interact with. And having these pens here and be like, do you want to draw in my sketchbook? I don't think I've seen anyone else do this before, so I, I don't know, but I, I feel like it'd be fun. <sighs> okay, here's Chewy. He's being very helpful. Come on, Chewy. You helping me? Do you like your pillows? Okay, and then over here, it's kind of a mess, but um, that's okay. We're having fun. Kitty heart frame, puppy heart frame, Karomi, Karopi, and our Mean Girls pin. Okay. Great. Well, this is the last packaging I have for that, so I don't know. Guess that's all I have. Look at it. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Powerpuff Girlies. The printing on this is so bad. What is up with this little halo around every single color? Oh well. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, which means the convention is tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day. 
and the next day. No, just kidding. It's only Saturday and Sunday. Today, I am actually going to set up. We're able to come in today from 1 to 7 is our window to set up our table, which is really exciting because I've only been to conventions where I set up like morning of. So this is going to be nice to be able to set up today and just have like everything ready to go when I get there tomorrow. So all I have to worry about tomorrow is like getting ready, which is nice because <laughs> I feel like I'm always scrambling like the morning of events like this. Um, But yeah, I've just been packing up everything over here. I'm excited to set up. My mom's coming with. We're actually going to go visit my grandparents first and then go to the convention center and set everything up. So come along with. my little badges oh oh I have three okay good nice this is a big table okay I don't know if my blanket is gonna cover this whole table we'll see setups are so big oh my gosh look at that backdrop look at those lights i feel kind of scared leaving all this stuff here bye table see you tomorrow <laughs> i feel really good about getting set up today and i'm just walking across the street to my dad's office which is pretty convenient oh my god hello i can't see shit. and he's gonna give me his parking pass tomorrow so i'm set i'm cool see you tomorrow sure here have a notepad wow thanks Good morning. Why is there snow? I don't know. I hate it too. Okay. Day one of the convention. Let's go. There's a couple events happening in here today. I think there's like a cosplay event too or something. That's me. Oh my gosh. This looks so different than it did yesterday. They're playing the Last of Us soundtrack in here. <laughs> Damn, I want a big setup like that one day. Look at all this. Whoa. I can't get over how big this is. Wow, look at this setup. Oh my gosh.
Okay, it's 10 a.m. We're open, and I just made my first sale. Sold a Kirby keychain and a ghost pin. We have the first submission in the sketchbook. So cute. Okay, so my mom brought me a little lunch. Doodling's over here doodling. <laughs> Got the sketchbook. Oh my god, it's me! That's so cute. That must stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> I've had so much fun today. I can't believe how much people have loved drawing in the sketchbook and I can't wait to show you guys. Everyone's had so much fun and it's like such a good way to interact with people. My cheeks hurt from like smiling and laughing all day long. Everybody at these kinds of events is always like so nice, so cute. I just like, I'm just, uh, I, th this is like, I love doing in-person events. They're so fun. Somebody asked me if I was recording a podcast earlier when I was sitting here. I was like, nope, it's just for the vlog. <laughs> okay, here we go. Day two. Okay, here we are, ready for day two. We get to have another day today. It's really fun. Yay! I'm minding my own business for now. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> the Ziploc bag. If someone asks you where you got it, please tell them quarters are us. Porters are us. I call my house. I kill a meal. I buried its guts. And now you got coconuts. Good morning. Hi. This is we can do anything but grow. Guy with a big camera here. Here's my little system underneath the booth. Well, it's not really a system, it's kind of chaos. Extra products, scissors and tape. It's always a good thing to have. Like to restock. There we go. Oh, we need a kitty out there too. Okay, sounds good. Do you want a receipt? Looks like there are numbers in there if you want. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Hello. Bye. Julian brought me my lunch that my mom made for me again. Oh, there's peanut butter and banana in here. My tote bags are all gone and we're all sold out. Oh my God, I'm out of business cards. Sold out of my Cupid stinky garlic sticker. I literally peeled this one off to give to someone. I sold out of the other notepad style. Sold out of this guy. Okay, we're in the last 20 minutes of day two and did you have fun? Yep, I overcharged five people on things so I can make a profit myself. Julian, excuse you. I let him handle the booth while I was shopping around just now. I'll show you what I got when I get home and I'll tell you how the whole weekend went. Now. Now. <laughs> Yay, we did it. The convention. What a success. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed watching the whole process of me getting ready for this. I hope it gives you a little inspiration and encouragement if you're looking to table out a place. My favorite thing to hear was when someone would point at a sticker or a print or something of mine and go, oh my gosh, that's so me. Or they like thought of their best friend or their sibling or whatever. They're like, oh my God, that's so you. I can't believe, I know you saw this in here already, but look at this. Kristen made this for me and it's just so sweet and personal. It's me and Julian and Chewy and mushrooms and frogs and skateboards and ghosts. I also have a little baggie of things that I got from a few people at the event. This is a little stitches magnet. I don't know if you can see, it's got little holographic sparkles. Oh my God, so cute. <laughs> Charizard, shiny Charizard. I got these stickers from Studio Pagey. Also some more stickers. Kristen actually got me a few things. She came back to my table. She's like, I got you this. And I was like, what? This sticker, of course. She got this sticker for Julian, which is skate and die. <laughs> the pink froggy chair. Cute little earrings. They're little lavender tombstones and they say RIP. How cute is that? It was a great weekend. It was so fun to connect with people who know my art with people who have never seen my art before and then to connect with the other artists that are there. It's just always a good time at these events. The whole weekend just truly filled me with joy and then to see my family and friends too, like so much fun. And I actually have an event coming up again in the Twin Cities. It's called Art A World and that's gonna be May 19th through the 21st. So that's gonna be a three day event. Before we go over how much I made, let's talk about how much I spent. The standard table that I had was $390. That's almost $400 for a table, which is a lot of money. So over the weekend, I made $2,103.137 sales. I'm like really amazed and so grateful that like, you know, strangers would walk up to the booth and be like, oh my God, this is cute. I'm gonna buy it. I'm curious about some of the bigger booths and some of the people who had like higher priced items to sell. There's an ant crawling on my phone. There's so many ants in this video. If there's anything, any questions, anything you can think of, leave them down there in the comments. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me a little, either a purple emoji or an orange emoji or a green emoji. <laughs> Thank you to anybody who came out to the event. Thank you for all your support online. Wishing me good luck. Hope to keep tabling at future events. Thank you for watching. Go do something good in the world for yourself or for someone else. I'll see you next time. his famous Chewy. Look at that. There's oh, Chewy. That, that's him. Ready? Mm-hmm.